and this is two. The same. Three is the same. So, hmm. all right. That's not what I was expecting. <laughs> Hey, welcome back to the channel. Um, back on this air handler that I checked out, I don't know, about a month or so ago. And it had the blown fuse and there was a bad uh, wire connection at the motor. But I uh, came to drop off some replacement belts and nothing. It's quiet. Nothing hand, nothing in auto. So I asked the building maintenance, I said, why is that air handler down? And they had no clue, didn't know it was down. So I'm gonna have to check this thing out and see what's going on. Hopefully we haven't uh, blown any more fuses, but we'll dig into it and figure it out. All right, so I went ahead and picked up my tools and got the mega and the meter here. And let's see what's going on here. All right. Passes the smell test. So let's take a look a little closer here. All right, so let's just verify that stuff is hot up there. Got this turned off. Uh, not picking up any voltage here. Yep, one thing I did want to verify that we do have. 477 that's one and three and then uh, one and two we've got 474 and then let's do two and three 473 so our high voltage does seem to be correct all right so we didn't have voltage up there let's just ohm across these fuses one is open. Let's check that and make sure. Yeah, we're on there. She's open. Two is closed. Three is closed. All right, so we'll ohm out the, the motor to ground. Nothing. That's on one on the load side of this starter. Two, there's nothing. Three, nothing. All right. So let's swap leads real quick. All right. So one and three, 2.3. One and two, and two and three, same, so. All right, so let's get the mega fired up and see what she says. Um, and leg one, we're set at a thousand volts, uh, 2200. And this is two same three is the same so mm. all right that's not what I was expecting but um, let's take a closer look I mean it does have the conduit runs short distance overhead it's smooth there but it turns into that flexible conduit which I found before in other units this stuff You'll get chafing on the, the wire insulation um, just from the unit vibrating because you see it's got ribs here and it's like that on the inside too. So this could be one of those cases where it's doing that. I mean, it's not that old, but let's dig a little deeper. All right, so I went ahead and pulled the motor connection box open. And uh, it's just like, just like we left it. 
I didn't see any new arcing. That was all the old stuff there. feeling I'm going to have to pull a wire out. This is, like I said, just a short run up to here and then turns into conduit there, but all right, so I think what I'm going to do here, I know what I'm going to do, took the wiring loose from the motor and I'm going to just pull this flex conduit off and just inspect the wires and see if I see anything obvious there. It shouldn't be too hard to push those back through. I mean, it's a short run. So I got that loose. See anything. Look at that. You can see that there's a hole right there in this flex conduit. And this was the end going into the motor. So we should have right there. And you can see how it's rubbed the wire there but it's definitely rubbed through there for sure. So perfect example that it would uh, arc and clear the short because it blew a hole through the conduit. So now you don't have uh, anywhere to section. So let's just, you can see, you can kind of see the, the marks where it's just been laying against the inside of that uh, flex conduit there. Let's check the rest. So that would explain it, and that brown wire is our phase one. Uh, here's the yellow wire. We've got the same thing going on. We've got some some rub through right there. Orange has got a little bit going on. Um, you can see more going on right there. Seems like we're going to have to get the electricians to uh, pull some new wire. I don't think we have enough slack to make that happen. But I want to replace this anyways and get something smoother. I think the uh, the liquid type stuff is smoother on the inside, but you can see down in there. This is the one that had the, the hole. Yep. There's our hole. Yep. That's our hole. Definitely burn through. And get a better look at that wire. There you go. That's it. All right. So I'm gonna get in touch with the electrician uh, about what we need pulling some wire out here and uh, for now I'm just going to uh, throw some tape over that to get this thing back in service and uh, yeah this is just a perfect example you uh, clear the line and stuff like this come back to haunt you so 
I've seen it time and time before. But I don't don't like this stuff. Not for in here. It just sits there and vibrates while it's running and rub right through. So, no good. All right, so we'll get this patched up. I'll get it, everything turned back on. And... All right, so I just did two passes with the electrical tape. Um, that's the only spot that I saw that rubbed through. And um, yeah, we'll get the wire changed. All right, we're all back together. Motor's connected. Everybody strapped back up. And let's change the fuses. Went ahead and put three fuses in there. Put this cover back on, like so. And, uh, all right, this should work. Um, we know our voltage was good. Our motor seemed to test fine. Just got the little blowhole in the wire. She's going the right direction. All right, well, let me uh, get a hold of them electricians and uh, we'll get that wire corrected. And uh, that should be it for this one. No more mystery. All right, thanks for watching. Uh, appreciate you guys watching it to the end and all the subscribers out there. Uh, big thank you. I uh, appreciate it. If you drop some comments, uh, give me a thumbs up. And uh, you know, let me know what you think. And uh, definitely helps me, encourage me to keep making these videos. Uh, appreciate everything you guys do. Watching. All right, gonna get on to the next job. See you in the next one.